Now these people are asking where is Lily and Archie? Where are they? And if there is one thing that can really come out from this whole fuss of Meg and Harry being chased in New York for two hours, all bogus, all stage, we know. If there is one good thing that can come out from all of this and receiving that award, Vision, Omen of Vision award, is that they would be forced to admit that these kids, Lily and Archie, they are fake. Who is this time asking for proof? It is not you. It is not myself. Of course, we always want that to happen. We want to know what is happening. We want them to tell us what is happening. Is this real? Where are the kids? Why you are hiding them? Of course, this time it is coming from a very unlikely source. And this is going to be a bombshell. I will share that news with you more in detail. So you do not want to miss out. But before I do that, I want to read one news first. Okay, this is something I found to be very, very funny. Uh, the reason for that is because you do not expect this to happen. Uh, why? Well, because we have all common sense. But looks like the security team of Meghan Harry, they lack in that, especially that night. Uh, New York, that night when they receive the award, when they're driving back home or to the hotel, they lacked in using some common sense guys if you hire this kind of team then you can imagine who these people are really like you hire people who are dumb i mean literally if you hire these people they're dumb and megan harry they decided to hire these dumb people and sometimes it helps of course they thought it will help when they were coming on the news everybody was talking about this car chase but uh, you know what um, at the same time, you have to be very, very cautious. At the same time, you know, if people can hire this kind of dumb people, then these people, they themselves, the one who is hiring is a lunatic. What happened? Prince Harry and wife Meghan's account of a, quote, near catastrophic, end quote, car chase was dismissed as an exaggeration. Okay, exaggeration is what comes to everybody's mind when we talk about them pretty much about anything they exaggerate in order to get attention in order to make money get book deals this deals that deal but what happened this time well how this exaggeration is coming about protection experts also blamed the couple's private security team for causing unnecessary drama in new york on tuesday night okay so what is that unnecessary drama let's read more so i want to show you this route of chase take a look at yourself this one uh, take a look at this route of chase okay you get a good idea what it's what was happening meanwhile police sources disputed that their claims of a relentless quote unquote relentless two-hour high-speed pursuit they are not agreeing on one thing a lot of different version of the story cabby sukram singh who picked up the success and megan's mom doria raglan said they, quote, obviously did not grow up in New York, end quote. And we also know what they did not grow up, which is um, they did not grow a, a brain. <laughs> okay. He added, I think that's all, you know, exaggerated. I don't think it's, I would call it a chase. Now, this is not really what I want to talk about. What happened is these experts, okay, the people who like NYPD detectives, people in the in the police uh, who are former cops they're all saying that this was the dumbest thing they could do because the cops they said that Harry and Megan their security team was driving on the wrong side of the road <laughs> wrong side of the road how could you possibly do that how could you possibly do that and then of course when you drive on the wrong side of the road you're gonna create havoc literally it is catastrophic nobody should do that but they did it whether it was intentional or unintentional i think unintentional because these people are dumb enough to do that but when they did that that's when it was so chaotic that's when it became so outrageous that people they put others in danger by driving on the wrong side of the road so if you believe in this narrative here you have it now let's talk about Lillian Archie's uh, this uh, organization coming out and saying that we need 
uh, this proof that Archie and Lily exist. So this is coming in the news again. Now this is what we found out. Fathers for Justice. Fathers for Justice is a charity organization. Okay. And they're fighting for fathers access to their own children. They are now calling. Are you ready? They are now calling Meghan Harry to really come out clean. Tell the whole world about their kids. So I will read for you. Then you will know what I'm talking about. A well-known charity for fighting for fathers access to their own children fathers for justice has called on Meghan Markle to let her children meet their grandfathers to meet their grandfathers now this is where I think we should all command this charity organization and support them and tell them you raise your voice you have popularity a lot of people know about your charity organization you do the job we will support you and that job is to force Meghan Harry to come clean, to tell us where these kids are. These are all fake kids, rented kids, but we no need to have an admission. Well, I mean, I can promise you, we need to have an admission from them saying we faked it. These kids never existed. We just wanted to play with the monarchy and rip them off, asking them for donation, for charity, for money, not donation, charity, for money, for payment, for financial assistance. And this is why we faked the whole thing. By the way, this is my uh, New York neighborhood. Uh, pretty beautiful today. Uh, we had cold snap. Literally, it was so cold, guys. We had to shut our windows and doors and stay indoor all day. Nighttime, it was very, very cold. By the way, guys, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you are one of them, consider to subscribe because I bring you all the new uh, latest information about the British monarchy, especially uh, I expose Meghan Harry um, and, and reveal the truth. I mean, when I say expose, I really mean I reveal the truth. I don't say anything from my own. The charity has shared Meghan Markle's poster with caption, quote, Don't be a crummy mommy Meghan. <laughs> that is funny. Rhyming very well, end quote. The message written on the poster said, quote, and the heartbreak of grandparents like King Charles and Thomas Markle who have been denied access to their beloved grandchildren, Archie and Lily, when even our late queen had access issues, it's time to protect grandparents' rights. Do you agree? I think you are. You are going to be really um, happy that they are opening their mouth and this is something very very important let's take a look at this video of Nilshan so again difficult to take the truth now in this particular instance because this story has reached such negativity with even the mayor of New York and the New York Police Department coming forward saying this simply didn't happen it certainly wasn't two hours etc this could and as ever we have to say allegedly be brought up in this particular case in fact it could be held up as representative Presentation. This could not have come at a worse time for the prince battling this particular side of the story. He had hoped that by offering to pay independently for his own security, things might have eased out. As I've told you before though, over here in the United Kingdom, people simply do not want to pay for that particular security. And more importantly for Harry and Meghan, the, given the fact that they're openly stated their lives are out in California, we're already going to be lumbered with a major, major bill following this particular case. So right now, whichever way you look at it, on whatever Harry and Meghan and their team are thinking, this has spectacularly backfired. And over here, particularly with the Home Office, the British Metropolitan Police and His Majesty's Government, that is certainly something they are set to be reflecting on. This whole security thing, this fuss, has created so much drama and it backfired, as Neil Sean himself, he said, it backfired spectacularly spectacularly and people know that this thing did not happen driving in new york but of course now everybody including mad police in london everyone around the world people in the government they will always they will always look back at their claim megan harris claim this bogus claim of being chased by paparazzi in new york for two hours and they will try to hopefully make more sense in the future and give them no security from the government.
because these people cannot be trusted. Rather, if they plan to travel to, let's say, Africa or Asia, wherever they go, I hope next time they will pay from their pocket for their security because of using this mouth. They never made any sense and they're lying, we know, all the time. They're always lying. Again, guys, new here, consider to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.